This training video comes to you from the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, Ministry of Education in collaboration with USAID Read2 Project. Dear teachers, how are you doing? I'm fine. I hope everything is fine with you. Today, we'll be discussing about writing, one of the productive skills. Let me introduce you the objectives of our today's session. At the end of this session, you'll be able to identify elements of writing and basic instructional strategies in teaching writing. You will also be able to practice use of different instructional strategies to teach writing. To begin with, let us reflect on the following questions. Please, Look at these questions and, and let us read them together. Question number one. What are your experiences of writing as a student or a teacher? How is writing taught in early grades? And how is it different from that of teaching writing in the upper grades and why? Number three. What challenges do your students have with writing? What strategies do you use when designing and teaching writing lessons? You have two minutes to do this activity. Don't forget to keep your distance and wear your mask. Great teachers, I'm sure that you have a lot of experiences to share with each other about writing and teaching writing. As a teacher, you have seen that writing is the most demanding activity for your students. It involves a knowledge of several skills. On the other hand, as a student, you might remember that writing is one of the skills that was time consuming and difficult. 
students need to become a good writer by the end of grade eight so that they can succeed secondary school. Therefore, they need a lot of practice throughout the primary cycle. Dear teachers, as you know, writing involves both technical and language specific skills. Let us see what these technical skills and the language specific skills are. The technical skills in writing include handwriting, spelling is also one of these technical skills in writing, use of punctuation and capitalization, paragraph structure, forms and purpose for writing like reports, stories, poetry, etc. Among these technical skills, students in the upper grades, especially grade 5 to 8, may not be directly instructed to develop their handwriting. However, some adjustment might be done to improve a student's handwriting. A student in the secondary cycle should receive advanced lessons on spelling, punctuation, capitalization, while they are given basic lessons, especially on paragraph structure, forms, and purpose of writing. For classroom purpose, teachers should present these subdomains of writing one at a time. However, in our daily use of language, they all come together. Spelling, capitalization, punctuation, these are what we call subdomains of writing and presenting them all together should be emphasized rather than discrete treatment of each domain that is more preferable. Writing is the skill that develops through practice over time. So as a teacher, we need our students to practice in order to develop their writing skill. Students should be given opportunities to practice the writing skill. It's also very important that the weekly writing lesson is regularly done. Teachers should also correct a student's piece of writing. And Providing feedback for your students or for our students is very important. They should also mark, or teachers should also mark students' writing every week. A students' marking, a students' writing says every week. For example, in teaching writing in grade 6, week 8, day 5, there is exercise that makes students to dictate them and also do the exercise on word order. So, as a teacher, you need to assess your students on dictation and word order. Assessment in writing is very important, especially at the end of the week. You need to check or you need to mark your students' writing every week, okay? That is, as a teacher, what is expected from us. Good. Language-specific skills in writing are issues related to structure of language, the structure of the language, 
and expressions in the language. That means English in our case, the expression that are used in the language and the structure of the language by itself is issue related with language specific skills. So far, we talked about the technical skills. So in, this, in the following points, we are going to raise about the language specific skills which is related with the structure and expression. All right, teachers. In teaching writing, it is important to address the grammar or the structure of the language. So at this level, writing instruction involves teaching grammar and expression also. When we say grammar, it can be a subject verb agreement, tense, sentence structure can be included as a grammar. And that of expressions in a language skill, the tone or voice, sense of audience and purpose. Here, sense of audience as well as the purpose. Who are your audiences? What is your purpose? So, expressions are very important. What kind of expression do I use for my audiences? And also, what is my purpose of writing this text? That is the main point or the main issue. And also, expressive vocabulary. Vocabulary or words that express your idea, your opinion, or that what you want to write are what we call expressions in language. Expression practice takes place when students are writing, either creating their own unit text or responding to reading through writing. For example, we can take the writing activity in grade five, week eight, day five. For example, you can take out, if you have a grade five textbook with you, you can take out page 75, page 76, how this writing composition is presented and what it needs from the students. It says, write a short paragraph describing ways of improving your school environment. So it gives the student a starting point, but it needs the student to create their own text by using the starting point as identifying the problem in their school. Then after listing action, what action should taken to solve the problem in their school. And also, it wants students to organize their idea, then writing the paragraph. So, in expression, we need our student either of the two. Either our students create their own unique text, or we can also give the students a chance to respond to the reading text through writing. That is how we can use language skill expressions. All right, let us proceed to discussing the type of writing. In order to help students develop effective writing skill, as a teacher, we need to know the four type of writing. I'm sure that you are familiar with the four types of writing. Narrative writing, expository or informative writing, descriptive writing, and persuasive writing. In the following, we will see them one by one. Narrative writing is a writing where a sequence of events occur. 
from the name itself, narrating, telling something. When we say something, it can, it can be a life skill, biography, autobiography. So that it needs a sequence of events. There may also be a chronological order in narrating the point or writing. For example, novels can be a good example of narrative writing, short stories, poetry, and biographies are example of narrative writing. A good example of such writing is story writing. Dear teachers, let us look at example of this type of writing from grade eight, week one, day five, writing exercise. Again, you can take out a student's textbook. Grade eight student textbook, week one, day five. The lesson topic is writing. It says individually, write a paragraph about your daily activities. So, as a teacher, it is very important to make students write their daily activities. On the other hand, you are teaching your students or you are making your students write a narrative writing. So it, it is about daily routine in sequence. Very nice, teachers. The second type of writing is expository or informational writing. Expository or informational writing from its name is to inform, to expose the idea through writing. So it is factual or fact and also subject oriented. When we write the informational or expository writing, we should always remember that what we include is a fact or a factual as well as a subject oriented with main ideas and tales about subject or subjects. We have a good example or a model example of expository or informational writing. Title is, why African animals are important. Let me read the first sentence. Africa is home to some of the most spectacular and diverse wildlife on the planet. So it begins with uh, informing the subject. The subject is Africa in this text. If you read the content, the whole text, it continues exposing or informing why African animals are important in the world. Great deed, teachers. The third type of writing is descriptive writing. This type of writing focuses on providing picture in words with vivid detail of can be person, character, event, situation, or a place. It gives a vivid or clear detail of a vivid or clear detail of person, character, event, situation, or place. It tries to make a picture or an image of what we are writing or what we are reading in our mind or in the reader's mind. So, someone who is reading a descriptive type of writing can easily take the picture or the image of your topic in his or her mind. All right, teachers, let us see together the text, which is found on grade five, page 170 to 180. Let me read the first paragraph, how it tries to provide a picture or an image in the reader's mind. 
tea is one of the popular hot drink in Ethiopia. People drink tea throughout the day. Most people usually drink tea in the morning, some drink it at midday, and others drink it in the evening. Tea making passes through different process. First, you need to have clean water. After that, you wash the kit, thermos, tea glasses or tea cups, saucers and spoons. Then, have the tea ingredients such as tea leaves, sugar, cloves, ginger, and cinnamon ready. Next, fill the kit with clean water and put the kit on the fire to boil the water. After the water boils, add the spice and tea leaves to the kit, then it continues. So, your reader can make a tea easily. After he or she reads, just reading your text. Because the, your reader is getting the image or picture of how we can make a tea in his mind or in her mind. Good. The fourth type of writing is persuasive writing. From the name itself, persuasive means to convince someone. In this writing, relate opinions, biases, and justifications of the writer about a topic or topics. Its objective is to convince others to believe the writer's point of view. When the writer writes a persuasive writing, he or she tries to convince, to accept his or her own idea, opinion. So, to believe the writer's point of view. All right, we can look at together an example of this type of writing. We can look at grade eight student's book, page 75. In this text, how the writers try to argue or the life skills are important. Let me read the first paragraph. Young people live in a world of challenge and need to develop skills to cope with this challenge. The term life skills can be defined in different ways. For example, Life skills may refer to a large group of mental, psychological, emotional, and interpersonal skills that help people to make informed decisions, communicate effectively, and develop coping and self-management strategies that can help them lead a healthy and productive adult life. Life skills are also defined as the abilities that help to promote mental well-being and competence in young people as they face their realities of life. Similarly, life skills can also refer to the competencies required to adopt a positive attitude and behaviors that enable individuals to deal effectively with the demands of everyday life. It continues. You can read the rest of the paragraphs. In this type of writing, you can see that how the writer is trying to convince, persuade the reader how the life skills are important. So we can make our students to practice such type of writing. Good. Teachers, let us continue. The instructional strategies that are used to teach writing. In teaching writing, we have a lot of strategies, but for the sake of this training session, let us discuss some of the main strategies. 
Writer's workshop model is one of the strategies that we can use teaching writing. Editor's model and character description model. These three are the main models that we can use as instructional strategy to teach writing. Now, let us see the details, how we can use each of the three models practically. The first one is writer's workshop. This approach has different stages by itself. And each of the stages require students to do an activity that will contribute to their writing. In each of the stage, if we engage our student to do activity, they can master this step of writing. The first stage of the workshop model is pre-writing. At this stage, students use some kind of graphic organizer to plan their writing. They will be familiar with the topic they are going to write and the structure that they are going to follow. All right, let us see a good example of this graphic organizer from grade eight English textbook, page 114. You can see this graphic organizer, look here. It requires the students to write a persuasive type of writing or a persuasive essay. So by using this graphic organizer, it needs students to write argumentative or to argue for and against each kind of medicine and then to draw their own conclusion. If you look at this graphic organizer, it helps the students to plan their writing. That is the objective of having graphic organizer in pre-writing stage. Herbal remedies, trained doctors know best. Is it cheap or not? All tradition not appropriate in the 21st century. These are the points which are related with the herbal remedies. So students are given this graphic organizer so that they can plan their writing. Then they can easily develop or write a persuasive type of writing. That's fine, teachers. The other stage in writer's workshop model is the drafting stage. The first one is pre-writing, and the second one is drafting stage. Drafting is a stage after pre-writing. And at this stage, students put their beginning thought on paper. Whatever the writer wants to include in the writing will be listed here. In this stage, a student can use phrases because they are putting the draft of what they are going to write. It is not expected from students to develop or to write a complete sentence. Simply, they can prepare themselves because it is the stage next to pre-writing activity. The third stage is conferencing. Conferencing is a stage where students share their beginning draft. Students share their beginning draft with others. So, in this stage, students get feedback about their ideas and beginning text. From whom? From another student who is working with. 
That is what we call conferencing. The fourth type of this stage, revision. Revision is a stage where students focus on the content of their writing, not on having correct technical skills and grammar. It's not issue to raise about the grammar and the technical skill. But at this stage, they need to focus on the content of their writing. The next stage in this model is editing stage. This is where the students make technical and grammar corrections. This is a stage at which students make technical and grammar corrections to their written text. First, they can do this alone or by themselves. And then with other students or teachers. So the editing stage makes a collaborative process. This stage makes writing a collaborative process because they are working together. Then after the editing stage, it is getting ready for submission by incorporating all the suggestions and feedbacks. The suggestion can be given from their classmates, from another student, or suggestion and feedback can be given from their teachers. So incorporating or including suggestions and feedbacks which they were given, they can finalize their writing and make it ready for submission. Dear teachers, we have been discussing the five stages of writer's workshop model. We raised the pre-writing stage, drafting stage, revision stage, conferencing stage, and editing stage. Though the workshop process model usually takes place over several days, you teachers can condense and use within two periods with students engaging in all these stages. Now, let us proceed to the second type of model, that is editor's model. This is one approach where teachers can help students improve their technical and language structure, structure skills in writing. For instance, students can be given such a text. Dear teachers, look at this text. You can give your students text and then edit your student text, the grammar, technical and it is language structure. For example, let me do that. Negligence of parents is one of the causes for lack of self-esteem. What do you need in this sentence? Your students improve. Is there any technical and language structure that you can see in this sentence? and want to g give your students a feedback. For example, in this sentence, there is a spelling error because it says 
negligence of parents is one of the causes. So please circle the word with spelling error. Also, for lack of esteem, says, we don't use this word, the word lack, but L A should be lack and causes you. See? So simply you can circle the spelling error so that you are editing your student's writing. Let us continue in this uh, text. In many cases, when we were young, our feelings about ourselves are heavily influenced by how others feel about us and treats us, especially our parents or guardians, says. Again, in the second sentence, teachers can help students by making a feedback or, or correction if the sentence has technical or language structure. So in this sentence, I can see that there is, for example, I should use, or this, this writer should use comma in many cases, in many cases, when we were young, there is also a grammar problem in this sentence. For example, the writers went to use a passive structure for the verb influence because there is a receiver of the action, not the doer of the action. About ourselves are heavily influenced by whom, how others. So it needs to have a passive structure, a passive structure. Influenced by how others, again, a subject verb agreement. How others feel about us and treats us, especially our parents or guardians. So when you are making your students improve their writing, you can use their spelling error by circling, as I did so far. You can underline the grammar error. You can also indicate the missing words by inserting this symbol. For example, let me underline the grammar mistake here, influenced by how others feel, look, feel about us and treats, subject verb agreement. There is also a missed letter from one of the words in this sentence. That is guardians. There, there is, the E sound is missed. So you are helping your students so that they improve their writing skill in case of the technical and the language structure error. And you can do this in the editor's model stage. Have you got the idea? Good. Let's continue. So you can do this editor's model stage by circling the spelling errors, underlying sentence with grammar error, and also indicating by inserting this symbol for missing words. While using such a strategy, the teacher should model it. And the students should be told what the objective is. Because most of the time, our students can be demoralized when the teachers give them a feedback. So please tell why you are editing a student's text. So the objective is to help the students who wrote the text to improve their own text. This activity can further be applied in class. Can be applied in class using students' writing in group or in pairs. Students can work on each other's writing. They can 
edit for each other and come together to improve the writing. So again, this approach will make a learning, a cooperative and friendly activity. If students edit their text for each other, it has a sense of being cooperative for each other. Well, the third one is character description model. This refers to creating a mental image of a person or thing in minds of others using strong words, using strong words such as adjectives are especially important here in character description. After reading description, students can record, they can record what the characteristics of the character which is mentioned in the text in the story can be because characters are used in story so that the students record the char characteristics of a character in a story based on both their physical as well as actions in this stage. Dear teachers, I hope in this session you have seen some practical activities that help you in teaching writing. You have also identified the four elements of writing, narrative writing, persuasive writing, expository or informational writing, and descriptive writing. We have also mentioned the basic instructional strategies in teaching writing. I'm sure that we have learned a lot in this training session. I thank you so much for your active participation and see you.